Welcome viewers you are watching soft to demi if you till not subscribe my channel please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and all the description and the links are given below in the description of this video so today my content is based on how to create a wbs from an excel sheet and how we go through a ms project and then we import to the primavera p6 so here i open my microsoft excel so where i have created activity ids and wbs activity name here are wbs and here are activity name these are activity ids you can see here so these are their durations so these are all calculated so first of all when we are creating a project we create their excel sheet and then we go for import in primavera p6 so i have to convert that excel sheet into primavera p6 so you know that we can only import activities by directly primavera p6 exported excel file so i will show you how can we import with activities and wbs combinedly in primavera p6 easy and fast method so here i have created the project with wbs and activities in excel so here i group all my project activities into wbs you can see here i have grouped all my wbs into different grouping levels so here you can go here in the data and you can group from here by using group option so without wasting time i will go for microsoft project so i will click here project and i will open my project tab so i will open a blank project so easily i have to just copy all my wbs and activities which i have sorted here i will just press control and with their durations control c and i have to go here and press on task name and i have to press control v so while i press control v i will select all of them and you can see colors are pasted so what i will do i will just press so here will you will see activity names are appeared so i will select all of the activities and i will go here and auto schedule and the activity will be auto schedule from here so these activities are auto schedule from here so this can be arranged easily from now so now i will go here and select the activities and convert them into a sub task so here is in 10 task to sub task so the shortcut key is alt shift and right so first of all first i will do with alt shift and and right and then the second one i will use a shortcut key select this one and plus this one so i can use also shortcut keys like shift space is selected and then i will go down and then i will press shift alt and right so it will convert it easily so you can do this one for all you can see here i can do it for all so this one is sub task you can do it like that one when i do this one so this one can be go drag and down so i have to do with all activities so it will take some time and it will be done it will be completed very fastly so you can do it from here task and also you can do it from here and also you can move your extent back from here if you have something done wrong so i will go here i will select this activity i have to go back and remove the wbs as is it's remove it from sub task click and then click here so microsoft project is most installed some system when you installing microsoft excel so microsoft project is with it so you can install from there so i will just do it for all activities so here i have completed dragging all my activities and these all activities are sub task now for viewing i will go here for in view and outline 
you can see WBS level 1, WBS level 2, WBS level 3, WBS level 4. Yes, you can see all the WBS level will be appeared from 6 and up to 7 and we can show all sub tasks from here. So this MPS is created. So the next step is to save the file into two formats. So first XML format, the second one is project format, the MPP format. So I will go here in a file, I will save as a project, browse and I will paste the project in the desktop with XML format. So I will paste here the project with XML file format. So I pasted the project as XML format on the desktop and the second one I will go in the file, I will save as a project and browse here and browse here the project in the desktop and in the new folder and I will give him a name with MPP, MPP project because this is MPP file. So I will just give it Microsoft project 2007. So why I save this one, I will tell you later on. So I will also save this copy as its original format, browse, save on desktop, and I will give the same name project one and save that file. So I will just cross that file. So I've created one, two, three files. The, there is the one file, there is second XML file, and the third one is in the new folder. So the third one is in the new folder MPP project. So I will delete the extra file from here. So now the next process is to go here in the Primavera P6 and I have to import the project into two formats. So why I have created the three files, I will show you from here. So I will go here in the import and here I will go here Microsoft project. So here you can see two options. One is XML and the second one is MPX format. So I want to show you the both format, how can you get the file or import the file from Microsoft Project in both format. So first I will show you XML. This is one easy and will be used for all the scheduling software. So XML format, I will go here in XML and I will click in XML and I will go here in next and I have to select the project. I will go here in the desktop and desktop it's in project one. Open the file and it will be pasted in the enterprise. I want to paste in the enterprise. No problem. I will go here MSP. We can go ahead and modify. There are WBS activities, resource notebook, all the detail do you want to add here. So I will go ahead and next default setting. I will finish here. It will take less time and it will convert fastly from here. So the first one I have shown you how to import your XML format from, how to export first from Microsoft project to XML and then we have to import back from XML to into Primavera P6. So here the report is generated and I will close the report and then I will go here in the project XML. You can see here project XML, the file is appear here. Now I will go here in the WBS. The WBS are not arranged correctly. So here you can see when you open the WBS and expand all, the WBS will be shown like here. You go, you have to go here and we have to collapse to first of all WBS level two. You have to see it's okay. Then you have to go for three and then you have to go for four and here is four is the problem the wbs are not arranged in the order i have to go ahead and shift down and here in the sixth level and then it's the seven level down now it's arranged now you have to go here in the activities and you have to press f5 to refresh the file so here you have got the project project one XML file you can see in the top. So activities are arranged with the numbers and you can see all the activities are now imported and the WBS are as well as imported. So it's easy method and the fast method. So the next second method in the second format, how to import that format. Now I will go here in the project. I will delete the project XML. I will delete the project. So don't need to de delete. I will add here a new project. No problem. I will add from MSP format. So here we will see which format we required. The next format import here in Microsoft project in MPX, Microsoft project file MPX. But this for, for project is not in MPX file. We will go here. This one is not in MPX file. 
in the NIF folder. We will go here. This one is MPP for format, Microsoft Project format. So what we will do? So there is a link given in description below the MPP converter to MPX converter. So here I have soft dummy MPP to MPX converter. I have given the link in description below. You can get that from from the link. So I will extract to MPPX. So I will replace all. Yes to all. So here a soft dummy MPP to MPPX format. So I will open here MPP to MPX format. I will open convert it. Browse so source location where is the file where is the MPP file I have to locate that file this is the MPP file I will select the MPP file so file type MPP file okay so we will convert into MPX file the location is the same in the same folder so I will save here so convert now it will take a several seconds to convert that file it will convert all the activities as well as. It will take some time and it will convert. So you have to save that file into 2007 Microsoft project format. So then you can use that converter. So the converter has been applied. So the file is generated here in the new folder. So this one is the into MPX. So now we will go here in the Primavera P6. Now we can, we can go here and import and import the Microsoft project file MPX format. Now we will go for next. We have to import a project completely. We have to select the project here in desktop. There is a new folder and there is project one. So it's easy. We will go next. MSP I have shown you already MSP. What is MSP? So we will click, click the finish. It will take some seconds and it will just the project will be created here. So we will press the close from here. So this one is project one. The other one is created XML and this one is one. So now we will open here project open when we open the project. So they, this one is changed from the other one. The activity will be arranged in sequently, but in this one, there is one problem that every WBS have its own activity. For example, this WBS residential development have its own WBS summary. You can see here and this one is a, this activity this WBS has its own activity every WBS has in his own activity so we will go here in the right click here and filter we will create a filter we will create a filter from here so I have created all the filter I will show you how to create filter I will go here new and we will create an activity type filter here activity type filter here activity ACT I will write here and I will write here activity activity type I will go here in activity type equal to equal to WBS summary. So I will add here. Okay. I will press apply. Okay. So all WBS summary activities are appearing because this activity is a WBS summary. You can see from here, this activity is a WBS summary. All activities generated, for example, this was some substructure. So substructure is also created in his activity. So that's why this is one problem when you are creating MPX format. So there are double of activities of WBS also. So we'll collect control A and we will delete all the activities which are created in WBS summary. So it will take just some seconds and it will just delete it all the activities. So after the completion of that one, I will explain you all the summary. So here the activities, all activities are deleted. Now we'll go here in the filter and we will remove the filter, apply, okay. And the activities will be arranged the same as it is like in project one already XML generated. So both the project XML are same. So I tell you in both format in XML, how to import in the XML of Microsoft project and how to import into MPX. And I have also shown you MPX to MPP to MPX for format conversion. So I have given also link of that one. So also the link of the Excel file, which I've created here, this one file, I have given the link in the description for that one. So you can create the project into a Microsoft from Microsoft project to Primavera P6. So this is an easy method. So you can create a WBS with activities, a project fastly from Microsoft project to Primavera P6 by using Microsoft Excel. So thanks for watching Software Demi. If you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and please share my channel link to your friends and all the project manager, planning engineers and project control team.